six months ago i bought this poly tunnel hoop house or high tunnel whatever you want to call them from a company called northern poly tunnels and i constructed it ready for growing throughout the summer which i did now in today's episode i'm going to take you through this and explain the benefits that i've found from all the features of this tunnel and i want to show you why i purchased it but tell you exactly all the pros and cons behind it okay so one of the first features that i want to talk about are these cutouts here now there's a roll up window if you like that comes and is supported by strings and it's fantastic because what it does it gives that cross ventilation across the polytunnel now this is brilliant for the plants inside because in the summer things can get too hot but towards the end of summer we have issues with humidity and this can then help with spreading things like blight now this year the garden on the side of me here had uh, blight in their greenhouses and the garden on the other side of me had blight in there so I was surrounded by blight but yet due to the amount of airflow coming through these we didn't have that issue the the uh, airflow and um, things that I was doing within the tunnel well that prevented blight so we've kept up our routine as far as having no blight now for the last 10 years and the reason for that I believe is in these side cross ventilation now when i built my own tunnel and uh, many of you have seen that tunnel it's now the fruit tunnel well that um had those windows so when i purchased a tunnel i wanted windows very similar to that for that cross ventilation i gotta say northern poly tunnels are knocked out of the park with these roll down shutters because we can shut them off really easy just by rolling them down but in the summer we can leave it open and get that airflow now the next thing you're going to notice are these two huge double doors they're fantastic for being able to just close the tunnel up or open it just on a slide it's really easy to use but throughout the summer again that helped with airflow we were able to open it up and it was a big gust of air we've only got one open at the moment because i'm here the other is closed but it gives lots of ventilation so that air can really remove around the tunnel but it's even better because when we stripped this tunnel out over the last couple of weeks we were able to just pull things through without really struggling we had the space to get it out of there without dragging it against doorways and things like that wheelbarrows got in there easy it was really really uh, good to have these double doors and the next thing that came with this tunnel was the staging bars now the timber didn't come with it I put this on myself but it's been invaluable because I've been able to sew like we saw in the last episode trays of anything all my seedlings and things get spread out along here through the summer we had chilies growing all down here in pots I had all sorts of stuff going on and even now we're using it as a storage but also we have things like the aloe veras all just dumped on here now and again I've got a second one of those and these are really heavy pots for those of you who can't see down it these are heavy pots there are 15 liters each and as you can see these are big aloe vera and the good thing about it is it can take the weight so I can put lots and lots of weight across these because they are galvanized uh, 90 degrees they tie into the tunnel they really do make a good staging area and I'll spin you around just so you can just see at the moment it's being used as a dumping ground um, where all the old chilies are where we've harvested and what have you but you know it really does store things really well the next thing I want to speak about is these crop bars now they are really strong they hold tons and tons of weight they held up all of the tomatoes that were hanging from these timbers that I ran across and the great thing is I've created like a ladder effect just by placing a couple of 
two by ones up on the top across these timbers that are just sitting there. And the great thing about it is that I can tie in strings anywhere along this bed that I want to, to have things growing up. Now, I got a bit carried away this year and year because of the size of the tunnel, it's fantastic, it really is. And in this bed, we planted, I think it was something like 40 odd tomatoes. We had um, the birdhouse gourds and, and, and what have you, all growing from this trellis system that we were able to hang from the crop bars. They are fantastic. Now. There's a, I mean, you could see how big this is. There's a lot of weight in this and we had lo absolute loads of them. Now, what I will say is that you do need to put up a little bit of extra timber unless you just want to hang off the bars itself. And um, maybe uh, Northern Polytunnels could add uh, an extra rail system in that is a, an add-on extra. So something they may want to look about, maybe just some square aluminium that can actually bolt to these instead of you going to buy some timber. And it could be just an add-on extra. Now they may well have it, I'm not quite sure, um, but I was able to just put in some timber and do that. And I've got to say, it's been fantastic. The tunnel has, has held up really well. As you can see, it's still drum tight. Uh, really, really good. Now, although we had all the ventilation in here, we still had huge amount of heat and things done really well. For those of you that know me, well, you know, I quite like bananas and things. I mean, look at these. I mean, I am being buried by this banana, it's huge. Now, these two are Musa Bajus. Some of you re may remember this one here. Now, this was one of the pups that I took from the banana I had a couple of years ago in the other tunnel that we tried to overwinter. And if you remember, I built up this huge box around it, filled it all with straw and bubble wrap and everything else, it didn't survive. These two guys will survive that. They may dry, die back to the floor, but they will reshoot because they muse a bijou and they are really hardy. Whereas the this banana, which is a Cavendish, isn't that hardy. And as you can see, some of the leaves are going over. But down here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven pups around that one. So what we're going to do with that this year, this banana will come home and it's going to go in a grow tent, which I'm going to uh, be using. I've purchased the grow tent, so it's not something that's been supplied to me. And I'm going to be writing a blog post and things on that. Um, but... We're gonna overwinter it there and then bring it back up here. These guys, hopefully we can save, but they can winter up here because they're hardy. They'll stay in the tunnel. We'll just bury the buckets a bit to protect the root system. But eventually they're gonna go out in the well-being area and they're gonna grow up right through the uh, trellis work that we have out there. So, um, so these will stay up here. This one will come home. But because of the heat that's in this tunnel, I mean, look at the, the growth on these bananas. I mean, this was tiny. And we also have another three bananas at home, which are the dwarf Cavendish, about this size. And they are in one of my tents already, just in case we had a, an early frost. Now, we stripped the tunnel out. I was in a rush initially. We put down a couple of paths and we had two big beds. So this one here is a four foot by 36 foot long bed and the one on the side is a three foot by 36 long bed and then on this side we had the staging right the way down and we had two foot pass down as well so it's a really good size what i liked about this tunnel when i built it was the support beams here now they really um, help to keep the front and the back of the tunnel pushed out to stop them coming in, which keeps this drum tight. Now, keeping this drum tight is really important, especially when it's windy, because it stops friction where the plastic moves, and that's when they break. So the tunnel is now in a really good, uh, nice and tight, ready for winter. But they added these cross rails, um, you know, to hold the netting in for the windows, which stops insects getting in that we don't want, or whatever the case being. But I've got to say, it's a fantastic system. So one of the things that I did want to talk about was this window. 
And this is the one thing I will say to Northern Poly Tunnels and to you guys, which I didn't like. The instructions that Northern Poly Tunnel gave were fantastic uh, when I was putting this together and it wasn't an easy job and you can view that video up here. But what I will say to you is, when it came to the door, either the information quite wasn't there for, for this back door or the uh, I missed it. Either way, as a consumer, that uh, didn't help me. And I made that door a little bit high. And it wasn't because, and the only reason that it would become an issue is now when I need to install a cover on it because at the moment it's just netted for cross airflow. But because it's too high, the likelihood is that uh, a standard door plastic wouldn't fit it. Now, I have to say, Northern Polytunnels have been fantastic and they've provided me with a kit in which to uh, close that area off for the winter because obviously we want to keep the heat in. But um, it's just something to bear in mind if you do go and buy one of these that um, when you're doing the doorways, make sure you bring those rails down to the right size. It's probably my fault, but it's just uh, something that I... I had a problem with. So as you can see, this side's already been planted up. I got some weeds in here I need to come in and pull out. And that was mainly because this area was quite rough ground when we brought, when we put it to you. Um, if you remember, this whole area had sheds on it. Um, so it's going to take some time to really incorporate a lot of organic matter in here and to deal with the weeds. But uh, we'll just keep hoeing them out. But already, as you can see, we've got quite a lot of lettuce and uh, endive and, and all sorts in here that are going to supply us with greens throughout the winter months. Right up this middle one now here, we will be putting in some broad beans or fava beans, whatever you want to call them. We'll put in some beetroot, uh, some pea tops, and we will generally just use this through winter for picking off little bits of greenery and things like that, that we can harvest slowly throughout the winter and early next year. And then we'll strip all of that out when we're ready to put our tomatoes back in in May again. So you are able to use these tunnels. The the great thing about this kit was that everything was with it. I didn't have to worry about going out and trying to find something or anything else. So this one thing does bug me about it. As you can see here, I have a little bit of water in here. Now, this water is in the folds where... There we go. This water is in the folds from the inside. So what that uh, suggests is that there's been a fair bit of humidity while I've been watering. That's gone up, of course the heat is, uh, heat is condensed on here and then it's fallen down and been trapped in here. But either way, if them folds are on the outside, they'd be trapped or on the inside, they'd be trapped. But it's easy enough to get a sponge in there and just take that out and clean it. So, but that's the only real thing I can say. And you're gonna get that with all polytunnels, no matter what they make. But it's the only thing that really bugs me. Um, but again, like I said, you're always gonna have that when you have a round uh, tunnel and you can't just put a flat piece of plastic in there. But uh, overall, I have to say that I am, um, superly proud of this tunnel. I've done huge amounts of research when buying it and I'll let you guys into a little secret. I purchased this tunnel from Northern Poly Tunnels but I did approach them about um, seeing if they wanted to supply me the tunnel and um, they told me they didn't work with influencers at the time and, and, and I thought fair enough that's fine so I bought the tunnel anyway because I'd already done the research and if you guys are looking at buying a tunnel because it's perfect time to get it now get it ready for getting it up in the spring if you haven't got one already and then getting it done ready for next growing season so it really is good what I will say to you is don't skimp out, get the extras, get the crop bars and the supports and everything else. Um, and one thing I will say about the crop bars, I'm just gonna turn you around, guys. I know I'm throwing you around a lot. So normally you just get a, a crossbar here, but you see these here, these diagonal braces, they really tie everything together. They sturdy up all of the roof. So it is really, really good. And um, 
what I would say to you, if you're gonna go, make sure you get it all because it really is good. Um, you can get doors on the back end there, but I opted for a net, but they have supplied me with uh, a way of blanking that off, so I'm really happy with that. So if you wanted to be able to walk right through, and you could even have it as a double door here as well, but my garden is really windy. Um, this year we've had torrential rain and, uh, and and bad storms and what have you and every few years we tend to get like that so it's not been a great year but this tunnel has done absolutely brilliant I mean you can see just from the chilies over there we have got absolute tons of chilies we've got buckets and buckets of poblanos you know these are things that um, all have grown in this tunnel we've had tons and tons of tomatoes out of here and I know you guys haven't seen them because of I took that break but the tunnel still produced we were able to put some drip irrigation in well um, via drip lines so I'm just pulling these out now and what I will say is that they worked for a little while and they saved tons of water but I made a bit of a mistake. I connected them to them blue barrels and I didn't put a filter in the very first time I used it and it, it filled these up with a bit of gunk. So I've got filters for that now um, and we will run lines around these just to make it easier for me through winter. Um, obviously they're not gonna need as much water. But talking of that as well, when you're in a tunnel, it's quite important. We were talking about blight earlier on in not getting the leaves wet when you're watering and these drip irrigation uh, tubes were able to um, make sure that the plants had adequate water but didn't get the leaves wet and that also helps with blight. So it's just a little tip for you while we're here. Before I go on though, I do want to point out one problem that they found with this tunnel that maybe Northern Tunnels, if you're listening, um, I think that it needs addressing. And that is this on the bars. So this is the winder for the windows, as you can see it coming up and down here, okay? The winder works fine, it's really good. My issue is with the way these ends are flared out. It leaves a really sharp edge here. And I, as you can see here, I've had to put, if I get out of the way, you'll see it. I've had to put some insulation tape around this one because when it was placed up against this plastic, which stops it from rolling down the actual bar, it was pushing into the plastic and it was marking the plastic. And I think over a bit of time with a bit of movement there, I think it would have personally pierced that plastic. So. You need to find a way. I, I know they're obviously flared to prevent it coming through the bar, but maybe a, a rubber grommet around it or something like that um, will really uh, prolong the plastic here and protect it from, from that. So Northern Politons, if you're listening, this is probably the only drawback I have found with this tunnel. Okay, so what do I really think about this tunnel? It's got that little drawback that I pointed out, but I gotta say, it is fantastic. And that goes down to the amount of research I put into when I was buying it. And why, when Northern Poly Tunnel said that they didn't really work with creators, um, I still bought it anyway. Now I know I could have gone to another company and got a tunnel just like that, but I wanted this one. And there was all of these reasons behind it. And I've gotta say, I haven't been disappointed. This work perfectly it's been a brilliant tunnel i love the ventilation um there's only that one real fault there and maybe a little bit of tweaking in the instructions on that back door about the height of the jam and it is probably there i just probably didn't read it right so what i would say to you anybody looking at getting a tunnel really consider this tunnel it's been absolutely superb everything went together easy like i said i'll put a link in the video over here for you um as far as uh how to build this but six months on and i am still chuffed to bits with it it's been brilliant it's stood up all the storms we've had um we've had no movement in it at all it's still drum tight um what more can i say and i'm looking forward into growing through it now through winter and into next year and next year we are going to put some other systems in play because i've got a bit more time now over winter we're going to link up some ibcs to it which will all go through automatic irrigation which will make my life easier as well because i've been pulling water from down here into them little blue barrels well that's no good um, i have four ibcs 
uh, black as well so they're going to hold out any sort of um, green or anything like that and only um, w the water that comes off the tunnel will go into it but we will filter that water on the way in so that the water inside will be pure and then it won't clog up any of the uh, drip irrigation that we plan on putting in here. Um, the other thing I like about the crop bars is early on in spring we were able to hang up baskets all the way through there and things like that that we used when we were going to create the well-being garden. Um, so all in all uh, I think it's brilliant. One little thing I will say again is when they rolled up like that a little bit of dirt does accumulate in the roll up but a sponge will take that off when you roll it down and uh, it'll be as good as new so um but all in all it's a double thumbs up from me guys it's fantastic and if you're uh, ever looking at buying one of these tunnels i'm going to put northern poly tunnels link in the description below for you and that way you can get across there and look into it a bit more further for yourselves and make sure you let them know if you're going to buy uh, one of their tunnels that uh, that they sent you across there because they are fantastic anyway guys i'm going to leave it there i hope you've enjoyed this sort of update on on the tunnel a lot of you have been asking for it and um you know and all the benefits behind it like i said there's only a couple of little minor things i would change and that little bar there i could put a grommet on there myself I've, I've just happened to put on a bit of insulation tape at the time but it's held up it's been no problem with the insulation tape but obviously that may perish over time so a little rubber grommet might do the job but other than that guys um it's been brilliant one of the questions i get asked a lot is what's better a polytunnel or a greenhouse well guys if you want to know that get yourself across to my website because i wrote an article based on this whether or not you know which which i found was better a polytunnel or a greenhouse and i gave the pros and cons about each and all you've got to do is go across to simplifiedgardening.com and click on the search bar and type in a polytunnel versus greenhouse and it'll find that article for you so if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button up here and then when you've done that you can actually look how I built this video and you can see that right here. I'm Tony O'Neill, this is Simplified Gardening where I show you how to garden in a simpler way. Remember folks you reap what you sow and I will see you in the next one.